Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on The Witcher 3. Check out all this loot. Check it out all the alcohol. Just look at that. It's ridiculous. Look at all that alcohol. Look at all that beautiful alcohol. All that milk I found too. And all this food. Oh, we're sitting pretty, homies. We are sitting pretty with loot. And I almost got 4,000 bucks too. So... Playthrough is going well so far. I think I am down on swallows, so let's go ahead and rest. There we go. So now we're full on that. Let's talk to Zoltan. Let's get this episode kicked off. It doesn't look like you ah, left. you're so. back! You met Poppy? If you want to stop talking any day now. Nice bird, but to the matter at hand. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently. Named Kalanetta or something like that. <laughs> that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Why wasn't she on the list? Hmm, this Priscilla wasn't like the others. I think Dandelion more than fancied her. I think it was fervor. He lusts after every other woman he meets. How can I explain? Who does Dandelion love most? Himself. Exactly. And she's his mirror image. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? The laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummer's Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Right, meet him at sundown at the Kingfisher. Ah, almost missed the loot this stuff. I would have missed a water. I would have missed two waters. Hmm. Nose is too small. See, that's just unacceptable. I almost lost two waters. Okay, let's go ahead and head on over here. Get this kicked off. I'm wondering how far I'm gonna make it. Before we get some- I guess I've already had real struggles with the frickin' race. I had struggles with those, I had struggles with those exploding boomers. I don't know what they're called in this game. They're boomers and left for dead. But, I had trouble with those. Let's see, well, did I have trouble with anybody else? I don't think so. Alright. Time to meditate to sundown. Alright. Oops. What the hell? <laughs> it had me stuck running. Alright. I'm actually I'm actually decently happy with how we're progressing here. Rocking and rolling. I think I might. I think I'm gonna end up with Triss. I'm interested to see. Then I'm gonna play through again on easy on for just the story and uh, end up with the NFR. Get all ready. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. There she is. Who tunes their instrument when they're on stage? Don't you tune that shit before you get up there? Thank you. 
tender caress to bind our fortunes. Damn what the stars are. Rend my heart open, then your love profess a winding, weaving fate to which we both atone. You flee, my dream come. The song is actually pretty good for a video game song. I'll clap with you, Geralt. Hey, there's that bitch that got pissed because I helped her. I know him! Twas he murdered some Temerian boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music. Country well, then... capital of the world. The fuck it is. Then tell that stupid bitch to shut up and sit down. It permits me to introduce uh, this year's Priscilla, known also as Caladetta, as lovely as she is talented, and this. It's Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid! Very funny, truly. 
So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. So I think we're on like episode 15 or something, and I think it was like episode 32 that I was doing this in my first playthrough, but I'm only no doing story for pretty much. Sneaking around. An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Veres, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least it didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Holy shit, she just is... Oh my god! She's a magician. No, what the hell? Hold on, Priscilla. I'm just gonna steal your shit. Ah, food! What I want! Water? Plus, how many waters do I have? I've just been finding water on water on water. 52? Oh, hot damn. 52 waters. Ooh. I've got some healing potions now. This is some, this is good shit. I'm happy. Now I just need to get a better silver sword. But, with all of this, I will be fighting... I will be fighting just regular people. Okay, Siggy Reuven time. As much as I don't like Siggy Reuven, because that dick wouldn't help me. But he would help Triss. A little shit. All right, bitch, let me in. Anybody there? Open up. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Reuven that we'll have time to see you. Wanna bet? <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go.
You make this robe here. You're a Where quick do I get undressed? Oh. Because, you know, Splendid. this was necessary. Sigiru wouldn't await to the next room. Hi, Whitehead. Nice bum you have. <laughs> You were right. Ladies, I'm not here for you today. I'm here for Siggy. Where is he? What the hell? My Easy, Cleaver. All Sun Junior is a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? I'm a witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. Give me the sword. Give me the sword. Give me the sword. Give me the sword. Why do I have it? Why do I get the damn mace? No one wants the fucking mace. First ever party with my prick hanging out. Ah! No one wants the damn base. Oh my god, they're high levels. Bad idea. Oh shit. Okay, okay, okay. I need to, I need to take this slow for a second. I'm just gonna deal damage as I can. Bitch, motion at me. Oh, bitch! Crap, I can't get out of the pool. You should have given me the sword, homie. Yo, my strong attacks. Too dominant. You know, I'll just take care of this guy for you, since you're incompetent. Come on, Omi. One more. <laughs> Destroyed his poor bathhouse. Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were whoreson scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. <laughs> what do you want with him? Junior's gonna help me find someone. Horson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll this ask him nicely. Shoving that sword inside See, of himself. Cleaver, perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? 
Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to whore son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find whore son? Find me first. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet. A value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. Think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with the casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf, but you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real Witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. Time was on my way. Got things to do myself. So long. Hey, level nine. Where's the door? Alright. Let's head out. All right, um, okay, I can put a mutagen on. Do I want... I think I want sign intensity.
How many do you need to unlock this? You need six. I'm gonna do that. And then... I want to get this eventually, the one that increases my toxicity. I need that. Increases my toxicity by 30 points. I need to get that eventually. But I do need to level up. Get to 10, I'll unlock a new slot. I'm gonna... let's, let's just put this into Igni. I think that I think that'll work. That'll work. All right, guys. That's gonna do it for this episode. The next one we will be uh, finding horse and Junior's hideout, arena and casino. Try to get in there. Um, since I just went in with brute force before, I don't know if I'm gonna do that again or what I'm gonna do. But I will catch you guys.